The discussion of the alleged misuse of 31 billion shillings meant for the COVID-19 vaccine development is back as the select committee set aside to investigate the matter presented its findings to the whole house. The committee strongly recommended that preside be disbanded and its findings channeled through NRIP. Xavier Akampurira Choma, the Ibanda County North Member of Parliament, who was selected to chair the select committee, presented numerous recommendations to Parliament regarding the matter which was fronted by Ntungamo Municipality Member of Parliament, Yona Musinguzi, claiming that Dr. Monica Musenero, the chairperson of the Presidential Scientific Initiative for Epidemics, acted contrary to her roles. Presented the not account to Mosti for funds advanced projects. Several reminders were sent by the Permanent Secretary Mosti to chairperson preside to provide accountability for funds disbursed, but all in vain. Despite its recognition of the need to promote a pathogen economy, the ad hoc committee recommends that, among others, presidential directives should be implemented following the laws of the land. Government should prioritize the already existing institutions to foster science, research and innovation than creating preside. And Dr. Monica Musenero be relieved of some of her duties as the chairperson of preside, senior presidential advisor on epidemics, and at the same time minister for science and technology. The roles of preside can adequately be covered under the National Research and Innovation Program Framework supported by NU and the Uganda National Council of Science and Technology Act, with research institutions already part of UNRO, they only required funding to drive their strategic plans forward. Preside was merged, so there is no chairperson who preside. Was merged with? STI, the Science, Technology and So in short, we no longer have preside? No, we don't have preside. Okay. Dr. Musenero, who welcomed the report, asked to be accorded more time and digest the findings before she addresses Parliament. I also wish the House to note that the committee was looking into work 2020-2021. So many of the things have changed. I know the rules of procedure to censure a minister we need signatures. I have already drafted papers. I pray that you all append your signatures and we censure this minister today and not tomorrow. The session, chaired by the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Taiwa, referred the matter to Tuesday next week for a debate to ascertain its fate. We shouldn't be seen to have fast reports when, when, we, are, when we are not fair. Daniel Mugoya, Gloria Gutabinji, UBC News.